We believe that good health is the cornerstone of progress, and progress is what we've made this past year. The Association of Black Cardiologists has experienced tremendous growth in membership, scientific initiatives, educational programs, and collaborative outreach activities. We are steadily advancing our mission to eliminate the disparities related to cardiovascular disease in all people of color. Here's a glimpse of our impact this past year, as well as what we aim to accomplish together this year. Our 7th Annual Spirit of the Heart Awards Gala was nothing short of spectacular, with nearly 400 in attendance. Seven distinguished honorees were recognized for their contributions to health advocacy, including entertainer Queen Latifah, who accepted our Distinguished Health Advocate Award. Mark your calendars and join us for this year's stellar celebration on Saturday, October 7th at New York Cipriani, 42nd Street. The Dr. Richard Allen Williams Founders Lecture was established to honor the founder of the ABC, its principles, and Dr. Williams' outstanding career as an educator, clinician, mentor, and advocate for minority health and diversity in medicine. Our own Dr. Carol Watson of UCLA was the inaugural lecturer. Our literary brochure, Clinical Trials, How You Can Make a Difference, was granted a 2016 Merit Award from the National Health Information Awards, recognizing the nation's best consumer health programs and materials produced in 2016. And Dr. Larry Jackson II, Duke University Fellow, was named the 2016 winner of the Dr. J. Brown Best Abstract Competition. His submission was entitled, The Effectiveness of Improved ICD Programming by Race, a Matted Writ Substudy. ABC has maintained its accreditation with commendation status, the highest designation set forth by the Accreditation Council for Continuing Medical Education as a provider of continuing medical education for physicians. We've reached a milestone in participation and membership growth. Over the year, ABC has welcomed 128 new members. Our heart and vascular fellows represent the most significant growth at approximately 300%, and 15 corporations have enthusiastically allied with mission, purpose, and goals of ABC. Six new life members have joined the ABC, generating an 8% increase since 2015. We salute our over 100 members who have made a lifetime commitment to ABC's mission. Their loyalty is invaluable and a pillar of strength to our efforts. Our community of health professionals, community health advocates, corporate members, and institutional members is now 1,700 members strong and growing. This has been a year to remember in our mission to educate the community and health professionals. ABC sponsored its first fall conference, Arrhythmia Update 2016, for 30 cardiology fellows and early career cardiologists. Our signature live community tour, Spirit of the Heart, reached six national markets with health education, public awareness, and community outreach activities related to valvular heart disease, heart failure, and minority participation in clinical trials. Our celebrity ambassador, screen actor Lamont Rucker, used his voice and influence to empower the community with our seven steps to a healthy heart in media and live appearances. We continue to provide education to more healthcare professionals through live and enduring educational offerings, including 6,700 primary care clinicians about CHF management in 28 U.S. cities, 3,700 primary clinicians in 14 cities about hyperlipidemia management. 2,693 participants in the launch of interactive online activities and webcasts focused on CHF and hyperlipidemias. ABC sponsored 18 educational programs in collaboration with the National Association of Continuing Education as part of the 2016 Emerging Challenges in Primary Care series. We joined as campaign partner in celebrating a year without stroke, sponsored by the Alliance for Aging Research. This campaign shared a mission of educating patients and their loved ones about stroke risk and prevention. The ABC Heart Rhythm Society's update on arrhythmias in special populations has been approved and scheduled for May 11th at HRS's 38th Annual Scientific Sessions to be held in Chicago, Illinois. Chairpersons will be Drs. Felix Sagatti and Eric Williams. 
Advocacy is essential in meeting our 2025 goal to reduce disparity in cardiovascular disease by 20%. We are intentional in strategic communication and relationship building to improve policies, influencing decision makers, and developing leadership. The Association of Black Cardiologists presented two successful multi-stakeholder roundtables with health providers, patients, policymakers, advocacy groups, and thought leaders. Our November New Orleans Roundtable, in conjunction with the AHA Scientific Session, discussed improving healthcare access for minorities and high-risk populations, followed by our recent February session in D.C. on reducing aortic valve replacement disparities, of which consensus reports will be developed. Our ABC president and chairman of the board represented the organization at the Global Undiagnosed AF Advocacy Advisory Board meeting in Amsterdam, Netherlands to discuss innovative awareness approaches for the undiagnosed atrial fibrillation patient population. We're on a mission to foster a more diverse healthcare workforce. The ABC has reinstated the Dr. Richard Allen Williams Scholarship for medical students offered scholarship opportunities to general cardiology fellowships through our partnership with Morehouse School of Medicine. Additionally, we supported subspecialty fellowships in cardiac electrophysiology, awarded the Dr. Richard Allen Williams and Janita Evangelista Johnson Association of Black Cardiologists AMA scholarship to Paris Ostel, a student at Rush Medical College established a partnership with Morehouse School of Medicine, MSM, to support their new Cardiovascular Disease Fellowship Training Program. Successful candidates will begin the three-year program at Grady Memorial Hospital and the Veteran Affairs Medical Center starting this July. Numerous publications and educational resources have been published by our very own membership and internal communications channels, including Transthyretin Cardiac Amyloidosis in Black Americans, Pneumonia and Heart Disease, Protecting Yourself, released December 2016, Living with Familial Hypercholesterolemia, FH, released December 2016, Knowledge Gaps and Insights Regarding African-American Patients with Heart Failure, a manuscript in process. We've added a fresh upgrade to our website with benefits for our ABC members and resources for health professionals and the community alike. Get up-to-date news on our programs, events, continuing education at abcardio.org. The ABC has developed strong partnerships in the healthcare community. These alliances have fortified our outreach efforts and advanced our advocacy agenda, improving our efficacy, impact, and sustainability. We are stronger together. A number of changes in board membership occurred in 2016 with a diverse leadership of executive committee members, new and reappointments that jointly oversee the success of our organization. They recognize that the pace of change requires a new level of strategic engagement, and our accomplishments have been a testimony to that. We've made a difference, yet there's so much more to be accomplished. We're moving forward, focused on developing innovative campaigns that create the greatest value for those we serve. We will continue to work to eliminate health disparities through our preventative and public health education programs and to help develop new and better treatments to reduce cardiovascular disease and its related symptoms. We are steady in our resolve to make exemplary health care accessible and affordable to all, dedicated to lowering the high rate of cardiovascular disease, including stroke, in minority populations and committed to advocacy and diversity. Here's to making more of a difference.